heavy. I don't know who uses these, like crossfitters or something. Like, well, you throw it up in the air and slam it on the ground. And what do you go, what do you do after that? I, do you know? And I guess you pick it back up again. And, and then you slam it on the ground again. I don't get it. I don't understand. Why do people do this? Oh, I'm gonna pick it up again. Oh, gosh. Well, I didn't think that one through. What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today I have a 90 pound slam ball. We're gonna see what it takes to make it through this thing. I've got it set up on the table over there. Let's go check it out and get started. So this is made by Titan Fitness. This is a 90 pound slam ball. I think they had one a little bit heavier but it was out of stock. This was the heaviest one I could get and it is very, Heavy. I don't know who uses these, like crossfitters or something. Like, well, you throw it up in the air and slam it on the ground. And what do you go, what do you do after that? I, do you know? And I guess you pick it back up again and, and then you slam it on the ground again. I don't get it. I don't understand. Why do people do this? Oh, I'm gonna pick it up again. Oh, gosh. Well, I didn't think that one through. Uh, I got another table. Hold on one second. Ew, watermelon on it. Ugh. Oh, it smells so bad. I'm guessing this thing is full of sand and it's probably gonna take something pretty big to make it through it, but we're still gonna start out with something small and work our way up to something big. But before we get started, let me tell you about today's sponsor. What's up everybody, I'm Immortan Scott and I'm here to show you February's Pop Dude Bag, the Mad Max edition with a hint of fallout. First up is some camo face paint because the key to surviving the apocalypse is staying hidden. It's gonna be a lot of days when Immortan Joe doesn't give you fresh water, so you're definitely gonna need a filtration straw. Cell phones aren't always gonna work, but you can communicate with your buddies with a survival mirror. Send protein powder. If you are fortunate enough to find a cell phone, you're gonna need this little guy. It's a solar powered battery pack with a light. Keep your guzzling to go with this chrome jerry can flask. If you happen to spill your guzzling or you've had one too many war boys in your vehicle, cover that up with some Chemical Guys car spray. And don't just keep your rig smelling good, keep it looking good too with your mini bird bobblehead. And speaking of looking good, dates are going to be far and few between during the apocalypse, so make sure you're styling and profiling with your goggles, shemag, and this styling gray paracord bracelet just like Mad Max. And last but not least, the Wrecking Bar Axe. Comes with blade, hammer, and crowbar. All of these awesome items will come stuffed in this tactical backpack. And one more thing, use coupon code MADMAX and get this tactical crowbar knife for free. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna start out with 22 long rifle and I'm gonna be using a Smith & Wesson 22 Victory. Let's go check it out. Oh, I hit right there. So there's where we hit and there is not a hole around the back. Up next is nine millimeter. This is a 115 grain full metal jacket and I'm gonna be using a GST-9. Right, we hit right there, hit right there, and oh, you can tell there's a hole in it now because air's coming out of it. But there is nothing out the back side. All right, now let's step it up to 45 ACP. This is a 230 grain full metal jacket, and I'm going to be using a Smith and Wesson 1911 TA. Oh, you know the old 45 made it through. Okay, I'm zooming at the left side. Hit right there. A little bit of sand coming out of there. Uh, nope, nothing coming out the back of that thing. Well, I guess we're gonna have to step it up to 44 Magnum. This is a 245 grain full metal jacket and I have a Smith & Wesson model 629 with a six and a half inch barrel. Let's go check it out. 22, nine. 45, 44 Magnum. And nope. 
I don't see anything. Let's keep moving up. Next is 454 Kasul. This is a 300 grain jacket at hollow point. And I'm gonna be using a Taurus Raging Bull with a six and a half inch barrel. The sights are way off on this thing. Uh, so hopefully we hit it the first try. I'm just gonna aim dead center. <laughs> <laughs> It's leaking sand. Oh! It didn't make it through the back, but we are leaking sand. <laughs> I need to plug this somehow. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm just gonna tilt it like this. The slam ball is proving to be pretty tough, so we're gonna have to step it up to something a little bit bigger. Up next is the Desert Eagle, chambered in 50 AE, and I'm gonna be using a 300 grain jacket at hollow point. Woo! <laughs> Been a while since I shot this thing. Oh, that hit really high. I bet that went through because there's nothing up that high on that ball. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I went through the other side because there's literally nothing there. Just rubber. Man, I think these sights are off. I'm aiming really low. Like probably the bottom four to five inches. And we're still hitting up there. This time we hit right there. Because we hit high again, it went through the back a second time. I'm so sorry. Okay, we hit right there and nothing went out the back. One more handgun before we move up to the rifles and that's a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. This one has an eight and three eighths inch barrel and this is the one I torture tested. I still have not put a front sight or rear sight on it. I'll get around to it eventually, I promise. And I'm gonna be using a 350 grain jacket at hollow point. Let's see here. I'm gonna aim at the very bottom. I'm telling you, sights are overrated. Okay, I didn't expect any of the pistols to make it through this. I was gonna be surprised if one did. So now let's hit it with one or two rifles. And we're gonna hit it with the big boy. All right, none of the handguns made it through the slam ball, so now let's hit it with a few rifles. I'm gonna start out with an AR-15, and I'm gonna be loaded up with some 5.56 full metal jackets. Let's go check it out. Okay. Five, five, six. Two little holes right there. Uh, yep. Nothing. The AR-15 did not make it through the slam ball, so now let's try out an AK-47. I'm gonna be loaded up with some 7.62 by 39 full metal jackets. Hit right there and right there. There's a little hole, there's a little hole, and nothing out the back. All right, I guess the time has come once again to dislocate my shoulder. It's time to hit it with the big boy. This is my double barrel elephant rifle chambered in 500 Nitro Express. We're gonna start out with a lead round. This is a Federal Swift A-frame 570 grain 500 Nitro Express. Oh. Got a hole in the front. Still nothing out the back. Just borrow a piece of tape from the back. Hey, that works. The lead round didn't do very well, so let's hit it with a brass round. This is a Nosler. 570 grain brass solid. This should do the trick. Boop. Golly, man. This 
trigger guard right here gets my middle finger every time. I guess I hit it in about the same spot. There's still nothing out the back of this thing. That is crazy. All right, I wanna hit it one more time, but this time, let's hit it point blank. I'm gonna get down as close as I can to this thing, see if that makes a difference. It's probably gonna knock me on my butt, to be honest with you. Oh! That time, I saw the whole table rock. Like, I thought it was gonna knock it over. The ball almost fell over, and I almost fell over. There's a lot of energy there. But we still, we just poked a hole through the front, and there is nothing coming out the back. That's gonna be it for today's video. The slam ball proved to be pretty tough. It literally stopped everything we threw at it. If you need something else to watch after this video, you need to go check out Kentucky Customs. I just posted my video on the Trans Am restoration. I'll leave a link in the description down below. If you enjoyed today's video as much as I did, do me a favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics clothing. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.